All right. Well, uh, good morning, everybody. Good morning. good morning. Is everyone pumped up? Yeah. How many went to the gym already this morning? <laughs> oh man, that's weak. <laughs> I shouldn't have asked that question. I didn't want to start the whole thing off negative. Come on. Well, speaking of the gym, uh, you look like you've been hitting the iron uh, a little bit, sir. Well, no, no. I I do, I do my training every day. I mean, it's like uh, it's kind of like you know, I'm an addict. <laughs> and uh, I'm addicted, uh, I have to go to the gym every morning, I have to do some cardiovascular training all the time, and uh, it just makes me feel better the whole day, so I always do something. And then, it's also good when you're in half-decent shape. I don't call myself being in shape, I call myself being in half-decent shape. Mm -hmm. And um, that means that if I do a movie or something like that, and uh, you know, a director requests, uh, like just this last time on 478 that we shot right here in Columbus, um, the director didn't want me to be, you know, ripped. He wanted me to, to do a shower scene and to look a little like a normal Russian kind of a construction worker and not like a bodybuilder. And so, you know, I gained a little bit of weight for, the, for, the, for those scenes and, and uh, so it made it more believable. But then again, when there's a director that says, like a Terminator, I want you to be ripped, I want you to look good, I want you to gain 10 pounds of muscles, I want you to look more like you did in 1984, then I can also do that. I cannot roll back the clock and be younger and have the same face as I had then, but I can get the body in pretty good shape uh, for those kind of scenes. So it's, uh, it's, it's fun to do that and it's fun to work out and, you know, I, I go, I ride the bicycle every morning down to Gold's Gym, and I, I work out at Gold's Gym, and you know, kind of like makes me feel like I'm back in the '70s or so in the '60s when I started at Gold's Gym. So it's like uh, it's a great place. I mean, they have great facility, great equipment, and all that. And then I work out at night at home also before I have dinner. I do a little bit, like 30 minutes, 45 minutes of uh, cardio training. And uh, you had your old training partner. I saw in some pictures. Uh, from the Mecca from Gold's Gym, uh, your buddy Franco, and they're still pumping irons. Great to see you guys back in action again. How was the training with Franco again at, at Gold's Gym? I mean, literally, you've got to be uh, transported back in time to 1970 uh, something. Are you guys getting ready for the Olympia? Well, uh, you know, Franco has been a dear friend of mine now for 50 years. I met him, Franco, in 1965. And uh, it was in Stuttgart, Germany, at the European Championships in bodybuilding and powerlifting. Franco won the powerlifting championships in, a, in his weight category, and I won the junior Mr. Europe competition. It was 19, in, in October uh, 31st, 1965. And so since then, we have become friends. And when I moved to Munich from Austria, we worked out together. <coughs> and. Uh, he told me about powerlifting, I taught him about bodybuilding. He wanted to be a bodybuilding champion. I wanted to get stronger because I knew that it was very important uh, in order to gain mass. And so we, we have been friends. And then when I came to America, when, <coughs> excuse me, when Joe Weider brought me to America, uh, literally nine months later, I convinced Joe Weider to bring also Franco over here. Now, Joe Weider at that point had no patience for little people. <laughs> you know, so he said, no, I only, and I even exaggerated, you know, Frank is 5'3", but they said he's 5'5", five five. and, uh, <laughs> you know, he's a monster and all this kind of stuff, but it meant nothing to Joe. Joe saw the pictures, stand, Frank is standing next to me, and he says, why would I bring over a little guy? You know, we have a lot of little guys here. I need big guys, I need monsters. But I eventually convinced him and, uh, you know, put the spin on it that Frank is the strongest man pound for pound and all those things. And then I showed him pictures of Franco blowing up hot water bottles and uh, bending steel bars and uh, doing all kinds of crazy things. So he liked that. So, you know, he always, was always impressed with strong man and all that. And uh, so anyway, he brought him over and then Franco and I became training partners. We lived together for a while and... Um, and trained, uh, you know, morning, noon, and night. That's all we were thinking of. And then we went to school together. He went to, uh, we both went to college. He went then to chiropractic college, and I then went in the direction of studying business. And uh, but so I've been really proud of Franco, the kind of success that he, have ha has, he has had, the money that he had made, and uh, the chiropractic office that he has established, and the amounts of, of uh, thousands and thousands of patients that he has treated and brought. 
you know, um, you know, f health to them and uh, encourage people. And then he's, you know, we still get together, we still work out together, and he comes over and trains j and, and, and plays chess with me. You know, because we have been playing chess our whole lives, and uh, so that's another thing that we do and have a great time doing. Who wins most of the time? Well, sometimes Franco comes over and um, and beats me three times straight, <coughs> and then sometimes when I give him plenty of wine, <laughs> uh, Franco loves wine. As a matter of fact, he makes his own wine, and he brings over, you know, he, uh, uh, you know, for Christmas always like six bottles of his own wine and. And it's just really well. So anyway, so I serve him wine, and he loves drinking wine. And then after three glasses, you know, I start winning. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we have a great time. No, but I mean, we are pretty much all the same. You know, sometimes he wins, sometimes I win. And the important thing is just to have a good time and to have the laughs as we have in training or you know, whatever we do when we go skiing or whatever. We just have a lot of laughs and we talk about the good old days and about our families and all this. So it's, he's a fun guy. He's so much fun. And he's, uh, you know, he has his house in Sardinia uh, that he has built many years ago and he still goes to Sardinia regularly and still lives the Sardinian life and the Californian life.